Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 5 of the same topic. So we'll see the, we have already done few questions from the chapter innings. So we'll do here the remaining ones. A researcher collects data on the amount of snowfall for each day in January. The data is collected in inches. So whatever this data is given, so this is given in inches. So what we have to do from this data, we have to construct a frequency distribution table for the above data. So here what will we do, we can see the numbers, they start from zero and it is somewhere, this is 3.5 is the last. So we can take from zero to four. So we'll take the first column will be the class interval and this is given, as they said, this is given in inches. So then we are going to see the tally marks and the last column is the frequency. So now we will do one thing. We'll take the ranges for zero to one, then one to two, two to three, and three to four. So now whenever you have this type of questions here, so what you have to do, because even a single number, if you miss, you're going to get it wrong. So we are going to put either you put a cross mark or you can just put a tick mark so now you can see this is 1.3 so 1.3 means it comes between 1 and 2 so you will put one tally then 1 so 1 is not here here it is 0, point, 0 to 1 means you don't have to consider this one but you have to take this one so here you don't have to consider this 2 but you have to consider here 2 here you don't have to consider this 3 but you have to consider this 3 and so on so here, this is now, one means you are going to put a tally mark here and not in this, hope this is clear. This is the common mistake. Now here, you will put for 2.3. So 2.3 is here, then 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 is here, then 0, 0 also will be here, 0 0.6 also will be here. 1.6 will be here. 2 will be not this 2 here, but it is going to be here. So you will do this one. And whenever we put a tally marks, you know, after completing this 4, the fifth one you are going to put that this is going to be like this across. So this line, this is going to be a slanting like this line. So the fifth one, always at this one, we are not going to put a uh, one more line for this one. So this is like a slash. So here you can see, later on you can do it and you can see now this here from 0 to 1. And this one we have 5 plus 4 that is going to be 9. Here again 5 plus 4 that is going to be 9. 5 plus 2 that is 7. And this is 5 plus 1 that is 6. And one more thing when you add all this one, this will be 18. This 2 will be 18 and this will be 13 so that is going to be 31 and you can check from these numbers as well 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 that means you have not missed any number and also you keep on putting you can put a cross you can put a tick with a pencil later on you can erase it so this is the frequency distribution table. So now here they said two dies are thrown simultaneously and you have to find the probability of getting the same number on both dies. So here whenever there are two, two dies means what you have to do on one dies is this six. So we are going to not say six plus six but that is going to be you are going to write here six multiplied by six. If it is three dies means six multiplied by six into six. So 6 into 6. So total number of outcomes of two dies is going to be 36 and favorable outcomes. So they said two, the same number on both dies means what is the possibility? One die will be one, the other also will be one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and six, six. So how many uh, outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have the formula P of same number on both dies that is favorable outcomes. These are the favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes these are the total number of outcomes so that will be 6 by 36 so when you simplify this 
is going to be 1 by 6. So the 1 by 6 is the answer. Now E1 number as the sum. So total number of outcomes again because we are talking about two dice that is going to be 36 and favorable outcomes as the sum means E1 uh, number sorry E1 number as the sum means E1 number now suppose you take on one on one dice the other one. So when you add these both sum means you are going to add you get two. Two, two is an E1 number. So again you take one on the one dies and the other one is three because if you are taking one two when you add this that is three three is not an even number so you will take one and three that is going to be four so then we cannot take one and four because that is going to be five so if five is not an even number so you will take one and five that is going to be six again we cannot take one and six because seven is not an even number so now we will go so one series all, all over now we'll go for two so we cannot take two and one two and plus one that is going to be three so 2 and 2 that is going to be 4 2 and 4 that is going to be 6 2 and 6 this is going to be 8 so these are all the even numbers so now 2 series is also over now we'll go for 3 so possibility here will be 3 1 3 3 3 5 8 so these are all the even numbers so now again 3 is over now we'll go for 4 4 2 that is going to be 6 here 4 4 that is going to be 8 4 6 that is going to be 10 so also the fourth series is over now we'll go for the fifth one 5 1 so this is 6 5 3 8 5 5 this is 10 so 5 6 we cannot take that is going to be 11 so now we'll go for 6 6 2 this is 8 6 4 that is 10 6 6 that is 12 so now what we can see how many are there this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So favorable outcomes are 18. So we'll say BP means probability of getting an even number as the sum. That is 18 because the favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes that is 36. So 18 ones are 18 twos are that is going to be 1 by 2. A total of at least 10. See whenever they say at least 10 means 10 also should be included, 10, 11, 12, and so on. So this 10 should be included because the word at least is used. So total number of outcomes, this is 36. So favorable outcomes out of these two dies, at least 10 means where do we get? Uh, it's not possible in 3 because the 3, 6 will be 9. So we have to start from 4. 4, 6 means this is going to be 10. So now this is the last number for 6. Uh, now here in 5, 5 will be 10 so 5 6 is going to be 11 then uh, 6 4 so it will be 10 6 5 will be 11 6 6 is going to be 12 when you add that that should be 10 and more than 10 so now how many we have this 6 6 is the last one 1 2 3 4 5 6 so favorable outcomes are 6 so we can say probability of getting a total of at least 10 that is for favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes that will be 6 out of this 36 so that will be 1 by 6 now 40 children were asked about the favorite types of movies the data collected is as follows comedy that is 8 action is 10 animation is 12 drama is 2 and science fiction is 8 and you have to represent the above information in the form of a pie chart so here 40 children are given means total number of children is 40 so your comedy so we have to remember this formula first in this one for the pie chart we have to find the angle so uh, this this is the formula what you have to remember number of children divided by total number of children into 360 degree so here in the first one for comedy we have eight children here so 8 divided by total number means that is going to be 40 into 360. So when you simplify this one, so this is going to be 72 degree. Now for action, how many we have? That is 10. So we are going to put in the same formula. You can write it again, the formula 10 divided by total number is 40 into 360. So when you simplify this one, so that is going to be 90 degree. Again for animation, we have 12. So that will be? 12 by 14 to 360 that will be this and this will go off this will be 9 and which is 108 so for drama is 2 so 2 by 40 into 360 so this and this will be 18 and for science fiction is 8 so 8 divided by 40 into 72 so same thing here 
so you get 72 degrees so we are done with the angles now we will you can draw a big circle also so first thing what i did here now you have to go in a clockwise way and you can also for this these are we can also call this as the sectors so we can also put the different colors for this sectors so here now and you can make a big circle so uh, i have done here the smaller one you can make a big circle so this one the words will fit in it so now uh, let us see and you can use a protector for the to find for the angles proper one so now uh, what i have done because i can see it is 90. so i you know this part this is 90. if you don't come across that 90 you can go this way you can start from here and you can go in a clockwise way so you can put your protector this is the center of the circle and you can keep your protector now suppose we want 72 so you can draw one line and you can put a protector over here and see where the 72 is and then complete it and then write here comedy and this angle you can put a 72 but i did here directly because I, I found here 90 so i started from here because you know this one is always going to be 90 degree and if we take this whole part this is the center of the circle this together this whole part is going to be 180 so i started with this section that was 90 degree so before that what was it this was for comedy so i went in this way this 72 means it will be you can use your protector this is roughly what i have done it will be somewhere 72 will be in this sector so now this is 72 so now you can see 72 is two times so now this last one is 72 so that whatever that last should come here so the i do here 72 and then we have before 72 is 18 i went the other way so here is 18 so this is a smaller sector there was no space so i wrote it down outside but you can make a big circle and this before this was animation so you can you can do one thing you can start from here this one then complete this this and this one because it was 90 i just did it i started from here so this is the pie chart so again you can see this is 72 90 108 18 and this 17 but you have to take and exactly you have to see the degree and then right here this is 18 and this is all this one the angle should be written neatly and you can again once again i repeat so you have to color this one different colors you can use for this for this sectors so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.